Knee replacement surgery takes place through a single incision on the front of your knee joint. This is a photograph of inside an arthritic knee joint during a knee replacement operation. You can see some areas of normal cartilage, but the rest of the knee is arthritic, and there are also areas of bare bone. The first thing we do is to remove just a few millimetres of this diseased, worn out bone and cartilage from the end of the thigh bone and the top of the shin bone. Now this does require your surgeon to make some cuts into the bone, but this is done carefully and with precision. The two surfaces of bone then end up looking like this. You can see that there are nice flat cuts on the bones. Now this enables us to securely position the prosthesis into your knee. You can see how the cuts in the bone exactly mirror the shape and contours of the prosthesis. They need to match perfectly for a secure and accurate fit. We place a metal cap over the end of the femur. This effectively becomes the artificial cartilage of the femur and protects the bone beneath it by providing a smooth surface for the joint to glide upon. We also place a prosthesis into the top of the shin bone. Attached to this prosthesis is a very smooth and strong piece of medical grade plastic. Now technically it's called high molecular weight polyethylene, but you can just think of it as acting like the Teflon in your nonstick fry pan. This acts like the artificial cartilage of the shin bone and the thigh bone prosthesis can now smoothly glide over it with minimal friction. So unlike before, when your arthritic knee was bone grinding on bone, you now have a metal and plastic prosthesis gliding over each other within your knee. And this is what takes away your pain. In most patients, the undersurface of the patella or kneecap is also arthritic. We then remove the diseased cartilage and replace it with a plastic button so that your kneecap can also glide up and down on the thigh bone without grinding and causing pain. Many patients are quite curious about how we actually fix these implants into the knee joint and stop them from coming loose. We have different options to achieve this, but in general, on the thigh bone, we use a prosthesis with a special coating that actually allows the bone to grow into it and heal it firmly in place. On the shin bone and the kneecap, we could use the same fixation method as the thigh bone, but most commonly, we use a special bone cement that securely fixes these implants in place. This is what a replaced or resurfaced knee joint looks like after the implants have been positioned. Here is the thigh bone prosthesis, the plastic on the shin bone, and the plastic button on the undersurface of the kneecap. Now in this photograph, the knee has obviously been opened up by surgery, so the kneecap is not sitting in its normal position. It's flipped over to the side. After surgery is complete, the kneecap is put back into its normal position. We then close all the layers of your knee joint and finally the skin with sutures. All of the sutures that I use when I close up your knee are dissolvable. So that means you will not need to have any of them removed after your surgery. And most of my patients are very pleased to hear this because most people don't like having sutures taken out of their skin. Now let's look at the difference in the knee x-ray before and after knee replacement. You can see now that there is a nice even space between the two bones. This is the plastic of the prosthesis. Just like normal cartilage, it is also invisible on an x-ray. You can also see how much straighter the leg is now, compared to what it was like before the operation. And this is because we have literally rebuilt the surface of the knee joint that had worn away, replacing the lost bone and cartilage with metal and plastic. Most joint replacement surgery occurs with a spinal anaesthetic, but this does not mean you will be awake during the surgery. Your anaesthetist will provide some gentle sedation so you will feel drowsy and not remember the procedure. You also have the choice of having a general anaesthetic where you would be fully asleep. Your anaesthetist will discuss the different options with you, but my recommendation is that you should choose a spinal anaesthesia. All of my patients are reviewed by an anaesthetist well in advance of their surgery to put in place a plan that best fits your medical history and very importantly, a plan that you understand and feel comfortable with. If you'd like to talk to me about your knee, then please call my rooms at any time. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, I can easily arrange for these to occur before your appointment.